This is the machine itself. The competition demands a remote start, so I figured a pin being pulled by a string would be the simplest. When the top sensor is pressed, it reverses direction. When the bottom sensor is pressed, it does the same thing. At the end of five minutes, it descends to the bottom. To attach to the ribbon, obviously, it folds in half like this. And it's secured through here by pins. It carries two weights. One, preloaded, is placed right there. The first time it goes up, the magnet on top of this weight sticks it, sticks it up and it descends to the satellite loader, which props the second weight up on top of these two hooks. This is the satellite loader. It's a very simple mechanism. The weight gets propped up in these forks here. The actual weight used in the competition is bigger. This is just a representation of one. To accommodate the bigger weight, these things open like that. Anyway, it goes in like that. And then the elevator descends right here, and it picks it off like that. The competition demands that the remote start be made from 15 feet away. This is a problem because the string I used gets tangled. So I made this funny little winch thing to keep it straight. I don't know what this thing is called that moves up and down. I don't know what it's called in actually like mechanical engineering. But I know I made it and it keeps the straight, the string uh, wound really straight. And then there's this little lever here that makes it so that so that uh, you can't pull the string back out. And then there's my nifty sign, which I set up in the pit to tell people about my YouTube channel. It folds up quite nicely.
this fail safe doesn't keep going. Yeah, it seems to be going faster. <laughs> he doesn't think it's going to make it. I think it's going to make it. It's so close. Oh, come on, baby. No! Oh, no! Man, yeah, exactly the same last one. Oh, that's too bad.